Hi, welcome to uh, inside the International Space Station flight control room. As we uh, mentioned earlier, we are uh, looking at a potential unplanned spacewalk. So joining me here in the room today is uh, Kenny Todd, who is the Space Station Operations and Integration Manager. And uh, you just uh, came out of, uh, I understand, the uh, International Space Station mission, con uh, mission team meeting. And uh, can you tell me what is the latest that we have? Sure. Um, at this point, um, uh, we are we are in a good situation for 60P undocking, which will occur uh, later tonight, Houston time. Um, we were able to um, review uh, some loads analysis that uh, allowed us to uh, to get com comfortable with the uh, perturbations that uh, that we'll experience uh, as we maneuver the station tonight, getting ready for that that undock. And so uh, that was really good news. That'll allow our Russian colleagues to uh, to stay on plan. To, uh, to jettison uh, their 60p progress. Uh, from that point on, uh, we're uh, we're uh, trying to put a plan together that supports their launch and docking of uh, of the 62 progress, which is currently planned uh, for uh, for Monday, and uh, uh, from a launch perspective, and then a docking on Wednesday. And so we've got some activities in work right now to uh, to try to provide us some options to be able to support that docking on Wednesday. Okay, and so, and, and of course, we want to make sure we can support the undocking and the docking of the two progress vehicles. Let's go back just a little bit and talk about um, what transpired. I, I guess it was on Wednesday, the mobile transporter was discovered that it was stuck. Can you tell me what, what, hap what the events were since then? Sure. Um, we were we were doing some uh, some payload operations. We were moving the MT to uh, to conduct some payload operations, and uh, shortly after we left one of the work sites, uh, we saw that the the mobile transporter stopped. Uh, so we tried several attempts to to try to um, put it back at the same work site that we just left. We found ourselves about 15 to 20 centimeters short. Uh, we tried several times. Ultimately, got it to about 10 meters within 10 meters of the uh, of the work site. Unfortunately, that's not close enough to do uh, the uh, the necessary latching that we would need to do to to support any um, dynamic events like uh, a maneuvering of the station or, or docking or undocking of vehicles. And so uh, that's uh, that's what we've done over the last couple of days is really put a lot of effort into trying to see if we could get that that mobile transporter secured at the work site. Okay, and I understand the mobile transporter is. It's, it was what you said 15 well now it's 10 centimeters away Correct. from workstation 4 can you tell me exactly where that is so people can sure sure uh, if you look at the truss um, with that has the solar rays on on each end of it worksite 4 is just almost directly over the US lab so from a, a center of gravity standpoint it's it's actually in a very good position um, relative to uh, to the loads that that it might experience uh, it might be a little more difficult situation had it been out on one end of the truss or the other uh, so uh, we kind of got lucky if we're going to have this kind of problem we're, we're again right right almost in the middle of, okay. the, of the truss okay thanks and also so um, so we know it would be Kelly and Copra who be taking going outside the complex to do this can you tell me about how long would this um, spacewalk be that we think sure um, at this point we're thinking on the order of three to three and a half hours um, we think the task itself that we're considering right now which is basically going out and and uh, and uh, and working in and around the seat card area which is attached to the to the mobile transporter we think that's the the source of the issue uh, we can get there in relatively short order uh, do the task uh, but uh, but while we're going out the hatch we're going to look and see if there's anything in that general area that we can go work on um, just because every time we go out there is a uh, you know, as a, a penalty to pay for preparing to go outside. So when we do go outside, we want to try to try to do as much as we can. Uh, all that said, our primary objective is to uh, is to go out and, uh, and and get this mobile transporter secured at the site. And uh, and uh, if at the end of the day that's all that we get done, and it's a uh, you know even shorter than three or three and a half hours, that's okay. Okay, that's good because I was going to ask also if if they do go out on this unplanned spacewalk, would they would it, there be the possibility of adding any additional task while they're out there to take advantage of? Yeah, the the direction we've given the team is is to look at those things that are that are out there in that general area that we might be able to do, but if uh, in the planning part of, of doing this that uh, that that takes us beyond our target date, which is either Monday or Tuesday, then uh, then we need not to to talk about those things. We need the team to to really be focused on getting the, getting us out the door on Monday or Tuesday to go deal with this mobile transporter problem. Okay, and what determines whether it's Monday or Tuesday? I've kind of given that flexibility to the team. Uh, what I've asked for is a a, 
a, a plan to try to get us to Monday. And uh, if somewhere in there we're going to lose some uh, uh, significant content, planned content, and by that I mean, uh, I mean we're doing space station to do science. If uh, if we have some of our long duration subjects up there that that we're uh, going to lose out of a study, then at that point, then then I want to have that discussion. Um, our Russian colleagues they're going to launch their 62 progress before uh, we do the EVA either on Monday or Tuesday, so uh, uh, we don't have a milestone that we're kind of track trying to track to there. So I really did kind of give the team some flexibility with an understanding that they ought to shoot for Monday. Uh, we'll go to Tuesday if we have to. Okay, thank you so much. And so I understand also the uh, there's there'll be a um, mission managers team meeting tomorrow or no Sunday, and that's when there will be a go or no go decision on whether or not we'll be doing this unplanned spacewalk. Correct. Correct. Yeah, yeah. We uh, we need to give the team a couple of days here to try to work through the through the details of it. Um, and so I've, I've put a milestone on the schedule. Say, let's talk on Sunday. Uh, we'll move it if we need to. If we're still trying to finish up some work and and can't get a good good picture of, of what the EVA is going to look like, but I anticipate based on everything that I know right now that we can we can uh, we can get together and and uh, and be ready to go go get this approved on, on Sunday morning. On Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Well, uh, thank you so much. So, uh, again, Kenny Todd, um, thank you for coming by and giving us the My latest pleasure. update of a potential spacewalk that is um, right now targeting either Monday or Tuesday. We'll bring you the latest update um, on uh, all of NASA social media as well as on www.nasa.gov slash station. Again, that will be Sunday morning when we'll have that decision for you. www.nasa.gov slash station. This is Mission Control Houston.